hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel my name is nora g and so yes today is another dollar tree wall art decor using dollar tree items this time pinwheels all right so i got this pinwheels from the dollar tree and i thought oh we could actually make some wall decor with this and so here we are and i'm not gonna waste your time we're just gonna dig right into it but first if you're new to my channel please do not forget to hit that subscribe button and join this amazing family all right so let's dig in so for this wall art decor i am using a 14 inch mirror beveled mirror which i got from michael's so this is the only thing that is not from the dollar tree and that is only because dollar tree is out of round mirrors at the moment large round mirrors all right so i'll be using this and so i just cut out a foam foam board from the foam board to actually glue the mirror onto it using tacky glue you could also use hot glue but i'm using both just to make sure that that adheres properly onto this and this is just to give it some kind of cushion all right so before we proceed uh, make sure to do this step and then we will go on to glue our pinwheels onto this just watch as i do this Okay, so once the mirror and the foam board was properly dry and glued together, it was time for me to take out the propolis on my pinwheel. I hope that's correct, it's a propolis with wings, whichever. But this thing you see me taking out on this pinwheel, okay, is what we will be using for this DIY, all right? So I'm gonna keep this, uh, the sunflower, maybe using it sometime down the line for another DIY, I'm not sure, but for now, this is what we need. All right, so I got seven of these from the Dollar Tree, which I'll be using for this Dollar Tree DIY 2021. And this is a whole bunch of them, which I had pre-removed prior to this video. Now it's time for us to glue them onto the back side of our mirror. Just watch as I do this. So what I am doing here is just laying out my design, how I want it to look before I actually proceed to gluing them together. So make sure you actually do that if you're planning on doing something like this or similar. You want to lay out your design prior to gluing them only because when using hot glue and plastic, you, there's barely any room for errors, all right? Because an least mistake was, it's going to basically ruin your design, all right? So um, now that I know how many is gonna go around, I went ahead to glue them all together for the first layer. Just watch as I do this. And by the way, if you haven't watched last week's video on how I made the marquee love sign, make sure to check it out. The link can be found in the description box below or right up above the screen at the moment. All right, so make sure to catch up with us. Okay, so I am done with the first layer, which I used hot glue, by the way. For the second layer, I am using tacky glue only because hot glue and plastics to not go very well together okay so i noticed that it was going to create some bumps on there if i had to use my hot glue which by the way is very hot so i decided to use tacky glue which was way faster as well however i had to allow this to dry overnight okay so i went ahead to use my tacky glue all around which took me like pretty much five minutes or so to complete this particular process or maybe 10 um, compared to me using my hot glue so just watch as I do this all right so now we're done I'm going to allow this to sit here overnight and we'll be back in the morning to complete our process our wall art okay and here we go so now it is properly dry as you can see I'm going to flip it over and it will be time for us to spray paint this. So it is pretty sturdy and very dry at the moment. I will go ahead to spray paint on this, but first I wanted to use this around the frame on the mirrors to add some kind of embellishment, but I decided to use something else, which I'm going to show you towards the end of this video. So I also cut out that white bar to cover the mirror frame before spray painting it. I am using white and then go over the white just so it has an extra shine. So I'm using my famous Design Master Gold spray paint for this. And here we are. So now that I spray painted and it is properly dry, I'm flipping it over again. And this time around, I will be gluing this onto the back for extra support and also because I'll be using some um, double-sided tape 
on here which would be what i would use to put onto the wall mounting tape they call them i think so yeah mounting squares from the dollar tree All right, so this is what I will use. I'm gonna peel it off when the time is ripe, but for now, I have some embellishments which I will be using on here, this. I had used this in my dessert tree DIY video. As you can see, make sure to check out this video on how I made this dessert set, and uh, you have a lot to learn on that. So yes, I used that in that video, and I will be using it again in this video, and to add some more embellishments onto our wall decor. So just watch as I do this. So yeah, this is, this takes some time, but it is totally worth it. All right, so I went ahead to do this onto the edges of my uh, mirror frame. It is soft at her safe, so that made it pretty much easy. But if you'd like, you can actually use some Gorilla Glue or E6000 glue to add some extra support. Are you still watching? So yeah, if you're still watching this video, I really do appreciate you. And as it is the tradition on Origins Nook, if you've watched right up to this point, please do comment pinwheel in the comment section and show your girls some love. Thank you so much and let's continue. I just had to do this, add some embellishments on my nails, okay? Well, let's carry on. So please do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are about this particular wall decor using Dollar Tree pinwheels, All right? So I personally had a lot of fun doing this or creating this, and I would very much love to get what your ideas are about this. And also please do let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see me do next. Thank you. I actually like the fact that this wall mirror decor is actually pretty large. It is quite large and compared to the previous ones that I've done on this channel and very much similar to my previous Dollar Tree mirror wall decor or DIY glam home decor um, which I did a couple of weeks ago. Okay, so I'll be adding the embellishments as well around the mirror frame just to add some definition and also to make it match the rest of the mirrors. And I will also add on the side, as you can see, to cover the foam board um, that is underneath the mirrors. Just watch as I do this. So now that I'm done with our embellishments, this is what it looks like. And that is it for our easy wall decor DIY. And so here is our final look on display. I just love it looks very much like a daisy to me so do let me know in the comment section what you think about this particular wall art decor and um what other colors you like to see me try besides gold i know i've used gold a lot on this channel but you all know gold is very royal right <laughs> you can hardly go wrong with gold i really love how this turned out and how much difference adding the embellishments make on this so do let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are about this. On second thought, I'm thinking I'm probably going to make a second one so I can have them on both ends of the wall. Um, but uh, that is by the way because I may end up giving this out to someone. I may not be keeping this as usual. Meanwhile, that should bring us to the end of this video. If you did enjoy this video, please do not forget to hit that like button and also hit that subscribe button. And turn on notifications. In the meantime, always remember to be your own self no matter what life throws at you. Thank you for watching.